Hello guys, Northern Light Seer here to bring you a daily. <clears throat> Just clearing out these energies. And it's not, there's not a whole lot, okay? The negative energies are clearing out, guys. They are. Okay, I've been saging and cleansing and smudging <clears throat> uh, like crazy. Look at this. I've lit this twice. It's clearing out. It's clearing out. So, that's good news. That's good news. Let's see what comes out today. Oh, first off, I want to start out. So, <clears throat> I got a message. I was standing at my sink doing my dishes. And Spirit drew my attention to this rock that I have there. I've got all kinds of pretties, you know, set up. And Spirit drew my attention to this rock that I had there. And this rock was painted and sent to me from a woman who, okay, so backstory. I started a community project in my local community. Uh, it's a art share um, community on Facebook. It's called Kenai Rocks. And what we do is we paint rocks and then we hide them around town and post, you know, a picture of the hiding spot and people find them, right? You don't have to post. You can just place them around and when people find them, they post them. It's really fun. You should look into it. If you enjoy painting, uh, uh, look into your area and see if there's a local rock uh, rock painting group. Uh, I started Kenai Rocks back in 2017. That summer, the, this kind woman painted this rock for me and sent it to me. She I can't remember where she lives. Um, it's been so long. Oh, Idaho. Pocatello, Idaho. Okay. <clears throat> it says believe in yourself. Believe in your fucking self, right? And it has a unicorn. Hey, I fell in love with this rock. It's been front and center uh, since then. And spirit just, I couldn't take my eye off of it while I was doing my dishes. And so I brought it in here and set it here on my table. Uh, this morning, I was just flipping through some cards to kind of feel out the energy. And the energy is amazing, you guys. There's, there's some shit coming in for the people. There's some good shit coming in for the people that are out there uh, doing the spreading love and, and doing uh, being of service. So, I had a whole stack, <clears throat> and it was amazing, but the first three out, <laughs> okay, first one out was the rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over, okay, it's over, the, the hard part's over, and I keep saying, I feel like this year, the first half of the year, was the hard part. Now that we've gone through solstice and we're starting today's July 1st, the rest of this year is where we're going to be uh, reaping what we have sown. That's right. That's right. Everything that we have sown in the first half of this year, we're going to start reaping the rewards of that. Now, what you put out there is what you get back. So I, I, I you know, my this collective here, I know has been putting out good vibes, um, and you just expect big changes. That's all I can say. Big changes, big changes are coming, and it's gonna it's gonna uh, really this a uh, next full moon in July. It's called a buck moon, and it is the the third super moon in a row. This one's a super moon too, guys. And so that big ass moon is going to be bringing in the abundance. Okay. The buck moon. Oh, thank you, spirit. It's calling for me to pull out the king of pentacles. Let me see from this deck. I just saw it in my mind's eye.
There he is. This is the card that Spirit just showed me in my mind's eye. The Buck Moon. King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Whatever's coming, whatever you've been working on, uh, you're about to see, you're about to reap those rewards, let me tell you. And, a, a, and there's going to be money involved as well. Um, I had almost every wealth card out here from the tea leaves. And this is a thick ass deck. Like, okay. And I'm just going to. Okay. We had the bowl. Handshake. Throne, tortoise, boot, quill, kite, caterpillar, nest, gong, whale, leg, ladder, four leaf clover. There's the two, the K. This was the only one. The only one out of all these cards. Okay, so the two faced friend is still there, but the, the energy's clearing out. Good news. Door. Pin. Firecracker. Okay. Hold on. Arrow. Bow. Flowers. Archway. Fair man. Moon. Okay. Basket. Angel came out. Carrot. There's that windfall. Okay. And July. So I think that this suit between the 4th of July... Okay, 4th of July. And this moon, this next super moon, the super buck moon. Okay. Make your intentions clear. I'm telling you. And your being, your angels are with you. They are. They're, they're, this is, if you have put out good, you're about to be rewarded. In, the, in a big, in a big way, guys. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it took me a little while to process everything, and that's why this reading is a little late today. And I had a couple errands to go do. But this feels like, to me, 4th of July and this moon changes. Okay. Also, what came out was this unicorn. Okay, spirit would not... Let me take my eyes off of this. And then here comes out the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Use your intuition and, and, and follow. Because this moon is going to bring in. It's going to bring it in. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And you're also, you're protected. You're protected. Spiritual guidance. Protection from harm. And then this horseshoe card came out. Good luck. Okay. Unicorns might have horseshoes. <laughs> right? Okay. It's just all... It's, it's all just coming together. And look, this rainbow. Okay, this unicorn has rainbow hair. Spirit says... Use your intuition to make beneficial changes and the dif most difficult part of a situation is over. And it has everything to do with these moon cycles. It does. You're protected. Horseshoe. Opportunity windfall. And I, I, I think it's going to kick off with the 4th of July due. So be safe out there on the 4th of July. Because you got some good shit coming. Buck moon. It's. Okay. Uh, just. Be open minded. Okay. Be open minded. <clears throat> Whatever it is that you've been working on. It's coming. It's coming. And it has everything to do. With your faith in the universe, the faith in your angels, spirit guides, and most importantly, yourself. 
Okay. That entire fat stack, all of these plus all of that, okay, it was all good. And then we have this two-faced friend, okay, the hater. This hater is going to be get to watch every single one of your blessings come to fruition. And they're going to be pissed off. You're protected from this. You're protected. <clears throat> I can feel that dark energy clearing out. I can. I can. And so, let's get a read. I just had to point all that out now that I've talked for 11 minutes. 11, 11. Now that I've talked for 11 minutes. But this, guys, I know what I'm feeling. Listen to your girl, okay? <laughs> this, this July is going to be where it all starts to come in. All your hard work is going to pay off. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. I want to go ahead and get some messages from the spirit junkie deck. Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Okay. My greatest experience of freedom comes when I let go of what others think of me. And that's fucking right. Okay? Don't matter what no one thinks of you. What matters is what you think of you and what spirit thinks of you. That's all that fucking matters at the end of the day. Don't matter what people think of you. Because if you are on the right path, you're going to have haters. That's how you know that you're doing something right. All right, what do we got? I claim my desires. I hold great visions. I am ready to receive. That's right. And it landed right here. It's coming in, guys. It's coming in. Your visions, your effort, the work that you have put in, because... It sets your soul on fire. You're following your heart and you're passionate about what it is that you're doing. And you are in alignment with your soul's assignment. Be ready to receive, baby. Be ready to receive. Because <clears throat> it's coming. It's coming. And... I think it's going to take you by surprise. It's going to, I think it's going to, there's going to be a shock factor to it. Like you're, it's, this is going to feel like a tower. Okay. Towers are not only bad. They shake you down to the ground, but it doesn't always have to be bad. Okay. Good things. When good things happen, that can shake your ass down too. Right. That's right. It's going to, it's going to shake up your world. Okay. We're going to go ahead and keep this one out right there. And let's get an animal spirit out. Yeah, spirit would not, I just could not take my eyes off of that. <laughs> this rock. And then this unicorn come out. Like, Popped my brain. Popped my brain. All right, spirit. What animal spirit is guiding us today? Okay, we got beaver spirit. Lay down a solid foundation. Oh, and then we got the butterfly. I love this card. Transformation is beautiful. And that's right. It's 
not a fun experience, but the end result is beautiful. Okay, what else? Let's see. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Yeah. And the reason why you're gaining this abundance is because you're not letting things like this bother you. You're unbothered. Unbothered. Because you know that you're protected. You're not sweating it. You didn't sweat it. Because you know you have good things coming for you that this person can't stop. They can't stop it. They cannot stop it. Okay. Beautiful. You've got, you've got, the collective has got some good ish coming in. Be, are you ready to receive? I know I'm ready to receive. I'm ready to receive. Claim it, guys. Look at this. Milk and honey at the bottom of the deck with the four-leaf clover. Okay. Hold on. The four-leaf clover came out. There it is. Boom. Okay. I've got my little stack right here turned up. Okay. I can't make this up. We're gonna go ahead and keep those two out and let's see what else comes out. Okay. What else, Spirit? Yeah. Clean it up, okay? Clean it up. Because it's about to come in. Look at this buck. Look at this buck. It's time to clean up the rest of you. Clean up your messes. Okay? It's time to clean up messes. Get rid of all the remaining little... I'm picking up all the little remaining pieces of baggage. Right? The litter. The litter. Clean it up. It's time to dust. You got to make room to receive. Out with the old, in with the new, I just heard. Okay. Yes. We have breathe and come to the edge and flexible at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. It's going to take you by surprise. It is. You're going to have to recenter yourself. And good news can do that too. It absolutely can. And you're being called. To come to the edge, take the risk, bend a little bit. Look at that. Here and now, okay? This is present. This is also reminding you to stay present. Focus on the here and now. You can plan for the future and what you lay down today is what you reap in the future, okay? Always, that's about the only thing you can do about the future is make sure that what you sow today will benefit you later. That's that's the only thing you can do about the future. Remember to remain present. Keep your eye or keep your mind in the present. Don't forget about the journey, okay? Some people just focus on the result and that's where they get hung up, okay? It's all about the journey. Getting there you just keep your if you just zero in on the result you're gonna miss things along the way important information stay present yeah deep knowing okay you are highly intuitive look at this two owls right in a row truth be told a window of opportunity is opening for you Ooh, masks will be dropped Okay, true colors will be exposed and all will be seen for what it is. 
Beautiful. Okay. We're going to go ahead and keep this present one. I feel like that's important. The here and now. A lot of messages came from that card. Look, a door is opening up for you. Okay, let's go ahead and grab from the Moonology. Since the moon's out here and we have a super moon coming, let's look into it. I'll definitely do a super moon, a super buck moon reading. I definitely will. Okay, meditate and contemplate. All right, here we go. This last half of this year, guys, it's going to be good. Yeah, take time to breathe. You're going to be able to breathe. I I keep feeling this, this exhale. You're going to be able to relax. Okay, this first half of this year has been, it has been hard work. And it's been a little crazy, okay, with all those lunar and celestial events going on out there, okay? You're going to be able to exhale. Relax. Yes. <clears throat> I just want to see, is this, let's see, so it would be a full moon in... Hell, I don't even know. Is it a full moon in Capricorn? I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Could be a... Is it a full moon in Sag? Oh, it is. It is. Thank you, Spirit. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to do this. Hold on. It's the, oh, also too, it is the biggest super moon of the year after the solstice. Okay, so this is the biggest one. Um, calls for change and expects us to listen with our hearts more than our heads. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what zodiac it is. It's not telling me. Oh, full moon in Capricorn. Yeah, I was right. I was right the first time. I was right the first time. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay. Oh, I just want to see what the full moon in Capricorn says. And Capricorns be all about their money. Okay. They are. They are. And then it's a super moon. So emotions are running high. Full moon in Capricorn. The tough of an end, uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Okay. This moon is what's going to bring in these changes. And oh, so between now, the 4th of July, now, and this moon, it's time to clean it up. Okay. Spirit says it's this moon is going to be bringing it in and you have to have made the room. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I am. 
I want to go ahead and see what else are, what else are we pulling from spirit? What else? Let's just go ahead and dive into the tarot. Um, which tarot are we using? Yeah, let's go ahead and use the tarot of mystical moments. I've got my king of pentacles out already right here. So might as well just get some of the rest of the gang out here. There it is. Yep. Look at this. The Hierophant with the Ace of Wands. Brand new beginnings. Spirit says so. You've been working hard. Putting in the work. Learning. Getting closer to God. Getting closer to Spirit. Getting closer to your angels. You're building bonds with your guides. The Archangels. Your Ascended Masters. You've been working hard and you're about to be rewarded because you answered a call or, oh, you're being, oh, you are being called. Collective, some of you are being called. Okay. What else, Carol? Okay. Yep. Spirit says, it landed right here. This is a challenge, okay? Spirit says, keep your eye open. We still have a lurker, okay? And this could be somebody that says that they want to, ooh, I just heard collaborate with you. When this blows up, okay, the, peop the people that did you the dirtiest will come out of the woodworks. Oh, they will. Wanting to know what you're up to. Because they want a piece of that pie. See? This isn't her nest. It's these guys up here. She's This person's looking to take something that isn't theirs. Oh, I just heard clout chaser. Oh my gosh. Okay. Clout chaser. Mm. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Spirit says... Don't let your guard down, especially to people that have burned you before. Because when this, when this, whenever this is comes to across your plate, guess who's gonna come sniffing around? They're ooh, they're gonna try and slither right back in. Spirit, ooh, spirits! Oh shit! Look at this. Spirit is watching this person. Look at that. And protecting you, keeping you, keeping you up elevated and protected. And spirit is got the eye on this motherfucker right here. Protecting you, keeping it away from you. Spirit is putting a barrier between this person and you. And here you are. Here you are, listening to your intuition, following spirit. There's reward in being obedient. Spirit, yeah, okay. Spirit's got the eye on this motherfucker right here. Yeah, judgment day. This person's about to get the wake call, wake up call of a life. <clears throat> this person will be held accountable. This person tried to block your blessings. I just heard. It's coming in anyway. They cannot stop it. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Okay. You're going to be, oh, ooh, I just heard multiple streams of income. You are going to be solid. Solid. 
because you've remained grounded and connected to spirit this whole time. And what that's going to do is that's going to elevate you to king status at the buck moon. Okay, you're already the queen of pentacles. When this buck moon comes around, you're going to be the king of pentacles. Wow. This is incredible. Okay. Look at this shit. Ten of pentacles, baby. Money, money, money. And, uh, you know, it's not about money. It's about... But that's how universe rewards us. Okay? It is. Wealth. There is great reward in being obedient. Okay? Money is energy. Once you understand that and you can release control over money and trying to manage money, like, you focus on being broke, you're just going to keep being broke. Okay, the law of attraction. Just like you, me, the wind, animals, plants, the ocean. Money is energy too. It's a currency. Okay, love. It's all energy. Once you understand that, yeah, look, king of wands. You are on fucking fire. Look at this energy. You're a firecracker, baby. You are on fire. Whatever it is you're doing, don't you dare stop. Don't stop. You keep going. You keep fucking going. Hey, I'm your biggest cheerleader. Look at this, Emperor. Yes. Not only are you elevating from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, you will then ascend to Emperor status. Holy shit. Oh, I just heard that's what you don't see. That's what you don't see coming. And neither does this person right here. This person knows that you have a gift. And this person has tried to throw every single kind of blockage that they can to stop you. And because you have stayed so grounded, kept yourself centered, focused on your work, kept doing what you're doing, being as being positive, helping people. That's what elevates you to emperor status because the emperor is in charge of many, right? The emperor is the one that tells what tells the kings and queens what to do, right? The kings and queens come to the emperor. And so because you held your status as the kings and the queens, Spirit is ascending you to emperor status. A position of authority. Holy shit. Hold on. It's here. It's here. It's here. Just a second. Boom, baby. Boom. I'm telling y'all, you're going to be thought, thought of in high honor. Because you didn't stop. You didn't let anybody snuff out your flame, even though they, they tried. Oh, they tried. Oh, they did the most. Okay, this person did the most. To try and snuff out your flame. Spirit said hell no. Spirit said hell no. And this person is about to get the wake up call of a lifetime. And it, so are you. Okay. I'm telling you. It's going to be made real clear to you. That spirit is uh, seeing you. Okay. Seeing what you're doing. Yeah, look at this. Spirit be seeing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I know what I'm feeling, guys. I know what I'm feeling. Okay. Spirit been watching you. And Spirit's also been watching this person. Telling you. You see this? 
Spirit sees all. Okay. Yes. Yes. Spirit be seeing and gathering information. Super sleuth, I just heard. <laughs> super sleuth. Spirit's a super sleuth. Yeah, okay. We got the three cups. Reason to celebrate. This is going to make you happy. You're going to be out celebrating with friends, just hooping it up, having a great time. Oh, and I just heard reconciliation. I told you, when this, when you blow up, the people that burned you always come back out of the woodworks. They do. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Keep your circle tight. Be like, no, there's no room in here for you. Sorry. You may, you know, tell them, I want to see you eat, but you're not sitting at my table. I don't like what you're bringing. Okay? No. And you have every single right in the world to do that. You do. Okay, what else? You can forgive people, but that don't mean you need to invite them back into your life. Okay? You have to forgive people for your own sake. To heal. But that doesn't mean you got to invite them back into your life, collective. Knight of Cups. We talked about this. That lotus, that beautiful flower, grows from the mud. Okay? I feel like this person smeared you. Okay? I hear smear campaign dragging your name and what you're doing through the mud. Trying to just dirty up your, dirty up your reputation. Dirty up your... Uh, your name. And the reason why is because they're jealous. They're jealous of your essence, your, your spirit, your nature. What comes naturally to you, this person doesn't have. And they know that that is what's getting you ahead. person was nice to your face and then behind your back ooh, they were up to no good I'm telling you I'm telling you okay what else gee look at this four wands and lovers I don't know how you're doing it but you oh you're man okay, you are. You're manifesting your fortune and your person at the same damn time. And what happens when you focus on self and love self, usually we turn to inner work and then we find some creative outlet and that becomes lucrative. When you do that, and fo or focus on your work, on your career, on your business, stack in your pentacles, right? That's when love comes in. That's when love comes in. Lovers and the four of wands. Ooh, somebody could be watching you working on yourself. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Holy shit. True love. Yeah. And then we have the Three of Swords. Through your pain, everything that hurt you, you transmuted and did a whole heap of self-love. And transmuted that pain into something gorgeous. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Or I'm sorry. Knight of Cups with the Three of Swords. Yeah. Look at that. You transmuted your deepest pains into something creative. You're expressing yourself. Okay. Most artists out there are expressing themselves 
due to their pain. Yeah, look at that. Okay, the Empress landed right on the Emperor. We have an Emperor Empress. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. That's power couple shit right there. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah. <clears throat> this pain. Healing this pain and doing the self-love. Actually, I'm going to flip these around for the sake of the message. Okay. This pain that kept you under this little black rain cloud. Okay. When you started doing the healing work and focused on your wish, you were able to get on top of that black rain cloud and set sail. Ready to and looking in search of a destination to anchor down in. To build upon this wish right here. Beautiful. <clears throat> when you go through pain like that and you heal, that's how you become the Empress. Emperors and Empresses go through much pain in order to ascend. And this love that's coming in your person has done the same. They have. They've done the work. Yeah, look. They released the burdens. They did the weight, did the work to release the weight of what was keeping them tied down. Their deepest, darkest. I said that with this card. Look. Deepest, darkest. The things that we don't show people. This, this emperor has been doing the healing work too. And they're releasing it. Moving away. Okay, this is some crazy energy, guys. I want to go ahead and get a few more. I'm loving this shit, yeah. Death in the reverse. Something you thought was dead and gone, it ain't over, baby. It ain't over. It was just a pause so that this healing could take place. It had to. The separation had to occur. In order for these ascensions to happen. It ain't over. It ain't over. Yeah, look. We have the Six of Wands and the Hermit. When you go inward and find self. Okay, you don't, you, you, you can't find yourself looking elsewhere. When you go inward and do the work and find self. Okay. Feel that cup of love? That is when you have victory. Ooh, I just heard spotlight. You could be in the public eye. Yeah, you could be in the public eye telling your story, sharing your, your lessons, your values, what you've learned, what you've been through. Because... There's people out there that need to know that they're going to make it. Okay, we got the five of cups that came out in the reverse. Yeah. Yes. Healing. Coming out of that five of cups energy. Leaving it behind. Sick and tired of being sick and tired and moving the fuck on. Yes. Yes. Look. Now we have two kings of wands out here. And this person, your person, is a frequency match. Oh, yeah. This separation was necessary. Look at this. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, wish fulfillment. I'm in love with this reading, you guys. And then bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
your person's gotten real clear on who it is that they're passionate about and they're coming in and they're ready to jump through them hoops baby they are they are it might be you this time that's like mm, i don't know about it right they want a fresh new beginning changes with that dragonfly there changes are coming and it's a past person Okay, this moon card says changes in your life. And then, where else? I saw changes. Yeah, the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Changes are coming, yo. They are. Listen to your girl I'm telling you. Let me know, too. I want to know. I want to know. What are we at? 46? I'm not going to pull another deck out to clarify. This is very straightforward and clear. Um, I am going to go ahead and just grab a couple more Oracle decks here. Let's see what Gaia says. I just saw <laughs> that this emperor has been secretly watching this empress, keeping it secret, watching her glow, watching her glow up. What does the collective need to see from the Gaia? Here comes the sun, baby. Here comes the sun. Eternal love. Okay, Emperor, Empress, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. Okay, yin yang. Okay, balancing out them energies, creating harmony through balance. That's part of ascending into Emperor and Empress energy. It's balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. Okay, yes. Look at this, goddess of creation. Transformation, creativity, and wholeness. Yeah, I feel like what something you're doing on a creative level is what's bringing all this in because it's you're able to express yourself through your work. Or you're about to be, or you're starting, you're going to do uh, some kind of uh, project on the side, right? That could be lucrative. Okay. Let's see. What else? Let's get from the angels. Okay, cut your cords. Make sure you do your cord cutting rituals. Sever your bonds with these two faced seven of swords people. Snakes. Okay, cut your cords. This ooh, this full moon would be a real powerful one to do it under. Okay. It would. I did my uh I did a cord cutting ritual with a toxic person in my life under this new moon and since and the energy has cleared out guys okay do your cord cuttings and the, uh, I also have proof that they don't work on twin flame connections <laughs> fairies you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping mother nature that's right queen of pentacles king of pentacles you are one with nature you are. Your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. So, talking about life purposes here, okay, whatever this is that you're doing is your life purpose and spirit is going to reward you. Oh, absolutely. 
Find out what your north node is. Therein lies your life purpose. Clear, cancel, delete. Okay, I've been saying this every day. Block, clear, cancel, delete. That's right. Anyone that's coming to fuck up your shine and fuck up what you got going on for yourself, I don't care who they are. Block, clear, cancel, delete. Doesn't matter who they are. Friends, family, lovers, okay, co-workers, neighbors, doesn't fucking matter. Get rid of them. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Okay, this is also about your own negative self-talk towards yourself. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. I did see this apprehension card. Yeah, right there. It says, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. Yeah, let go of the fear. There's people out there that need to hear what you've been through, Collective. There's people out there that don't know how they're going to make it through. They need to hear it from someone that has been through it. And they need your guidance. They do. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Boom. Okay. Use your intuition. You're accurate as fuck. We also have ear chakras. Notice the messages that appear as sounds and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Okay. Uh, I get messages through music. I get messages um, in numbers, in signs, in words. Um, I get messages when people say things to me. I get messages in my own mind. I can hear it in there. Okay. So when you say, I heard, when you hear me say that, it's because I'm hearing messages coming from spirit within my own mind. Pay attention to those. We have crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. Boom. And look at this shit, you guys. Books. Okay, your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. Okay, doesn't necessarily have to be. You could. You could be writing books about what you've been through spiritually and in, in spiritually based books, helping people, guiding people. It could be a vlog. It could be a YouTube channel. It could be a Facebook page. Whatever it is, get it out there. Get it out there. Okay, let go of the fear. This card says right here. Oh, wait. Hold on. I saw a card earlier today. It says, I don't care what people think of me. Yes, right here. My greatest experience of freedom comes when I let go of what others think of me. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks because you're going to be helping many more. Okay, you're going to be helping more people than than uh, people that don't like you. Okay, I'm telling you, it's your life purpose to document your story. Okay. Call upon your angels for help. They will guide you. You just have to be open to receive the answers. Stay open to receive. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some crystal medicine here. The greatest experience of freedom comes when I let go of what others think of me. Okay. Let it go, guys. Let it go. Fear is the lowest vibration of all. Come out of that fear and your vibration will ascend. And you'll know exactly what to do. You will. What does the collective need to see? 
Look at that. Unconditional love. Your ascended masters are here. 33. You're a diamond, baby. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay. Personal power, that's right. Freedom. Because you go inward, you take the time. And that is what gives you. You're stepping into your power. Wow. Yeah. This is incredible, you guys. Look, celebration. <laughs> Dance. You're going to be so fucking happy. You're going to be dancing. Okay, remember to cleanse. Cleanse this shit out right here. Cleanse out the people. Clean it up. Okay, spirit says. Clean it up. And to get rid of dark energies, black tourmaline, smudging, sage. We went through it all. Salt, salt baths. Okay, make sure you're cleansed. Because this moon is bringing in some shit. It is. You're going to be dancing and celebrating. Okay. You're going to be able to breathe. You're going to be able to relax. And exhale. And have a little bit of fun. I love this. Yep. There it is. Freedom. Freedom, baby. You're a free bird now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, let's go ahead and get some opals on it. Let's get a couple of these. Abundance. Look at that. Prosperity is yours. Can't make this shit up, you guys. Can't make this shit up. Draw abundance to yourself by feeling gratitude for what you already have. Okay? Be grateful. Wake up and choose, have an attitude of gratitude. Okay? Thank your angels. Your <laughs> angels, ancestors, guides. Okay? Thank them. They're up there working hard to protect you against these motherfuckers right here. And to guide you. Okay. They are. They're trying to send you, give you messages. And they're fighting on. They're, they're up there fighting in the spiritual realm for you. Rest assured knowing that there is truly enough for everyone. And that's what these people don't understand. And that's why they come up against you. Okay. When you come up, these motherfuckers come out of the woodworks to try and tear your ass down. They don't realize that there is truly enough for everyone. There is. There is. And I think that that's going to be the judgment call that they get. Mm-hmm. I sure do. Look, you are in good hands. Trust. Trust can only be built or restored with honesty and sincerity. Trust yourself, trust others, and trust that you are divinely supported at this time. And you sure as fuck are. Okay? Your angels are looking out for you. Trust in that. Better believe that. Better believe that. Celebrate. Look at this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. Share the good vibes. Celebrate life and just how far you have come on this journey. Remember I said? Okay, a lot of these people... They forget, they, they just focus on the outcome and the result. They don't focus on the journey. Okay, that's why they never get there and are always I and yours. Find something to rejoice about, then let yourself do a happy dance. Oh my God. And these two came out together. <laughs> Spirit just be driving it on home, baby. Spirit is on point. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
I'm going to go ahead and get one more from the Spirit Junkie because I just am absolutely in love with this deck. And uh, I want to get one more. I'm feeling called to. What else, Spirit? But one more and then we'll close. Every cell in my body is conscious and communicates with each positive thought I have. That's right. Your body is aware of how you talk to it. Every cell of your body needs to know that you love it. Okay? Every single one. Love yourself as you are. Don't worry about what people think of you. Mm -mm. Okay. Every cell in my body is conscious and communicates with each positive thought I have. The more positive you are. Okay, I understand. It is not, it's not possible to be 100% positive 100% of the time. But just make sure that you don't stay down there. Okay. It says, I communicate with ease and grace. People are willing to embrace what I have to say. That's right. What did I say? There's going to be more people out there that want to hear what you have to say than the ones that don't. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Always remember that. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I wish you guys the best. And I will get back with you guys tomorrow. Um, I did close personal readings for now. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm busy and I'm just, I, I feel like I just need to kind of pull back just a little bit on that. And, um, I, I want to enjoy some summertime <laughs> and get out there. And so I will let you guys know if and when I reopen personal readings. As of right now, I have closed down personal readings. If you would like to support my channel and donate, you can send a donation to my cash app the Northern Lights here. Okay. I would truly, truly, truly appreciate that. Um, anyways, also smash that like button for me. That helps the channel grow. So more people can hear the message and don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're new here. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Peace, love, and light.